What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough, the 2022, maybe 2023 edition. It all depends on what happens, guys. I'm gonna keep on saying it, I don't care. Anywho, in our last episode, we took a small tour of Sinewood City. Yeah. It wasn't really much small, but it, there was a lot of things to offer, and I hope you guys enjoyed that link to, you know, Psycho's page. So, here we are in this episode right here, and we're about to take on the Sinewood City Gym Leader. Now, initially, I had said that I was going to be doing things in reverse, but never came to fruition, because I was like, eh, you know what, let's go ahead and level up some Pokemon. So, as you guys can see, it is a Fighting-type Gym, and I did make a small switch. Just one small switch to the team for just this episode, and that is, we're bringing in Hydra. Yes. Okay, so, hear me out, guys. I'm bringing in Hydra because it is not a steel and ground type Pokemon, and these guys are fighting type Pokemon. Yeah, you don't want to mess with that. So, you know, its flying capabilities can actually nullify whatever happens right here, so let's go right ahead and battle. It will not stay on my team, I promise you guys. So here we go, Yoshi from Super Mario Bros. wants the battle, and he's coming out with a aim on Lee. Look at that. It's all about its legs, and BAM! God, I love that effect. Alright, Dragon Rage Attack for the win. Not really, but you know what I mean. And BAM, look at that. 40 HP is still a lot right here. And that double kick is not super effective because, yes, Hydra still counts as a flying type Pokemon. So eat this. Catch this Dragon Rage. Yes. Look at that. Him only has been defeated. How about that? And Togepi grows to level 29, mooching off of these other Pokemon. Uh, you know, coattails and all that stuff. And yes, this is real. It's very, very real. And, well, we have no chance to switch, but this guy's like, We martial artists feel nothing. Or fear nothing. I'm sorry. Okay. Bring it on. Here comes Lau, and he's coming out with a Chitmonchan. Alrighty. Now, we do have to worry about one little thing from this guy. He does have Thunder Punch. We don't want to mess with that. So let's go right ahead and switch out. Let's go to Lucky on the under the assumption that Thunder Punch might hit us. And there we go. And nope, that was Ice Punch. There we go. Okay, we're not frozen. Let's go with the Surf Attack, and here comes a Comet Punch. Mm -mm. Comet Punch wasn't going to do it. So let's go, Lucky. Finish him. And... Ooh, okay, alrighty. Let's go with the Rollout. Seriously? You're going to go with the Fire Punch. Oh my god, okay, so here we go. Rollout misses. Good gravy, okay. Try it again. Comet Punch. Comet Punch. Yeah, this is the reason why we kind of need Fly. And that is not very effective, but let's go right ahead and take some, a few more Comet Punches. Who's going to win first, Comet Punch or Rollout? Let's find out. So that's round two. Look at that. Okay, we're looking pretty hot right here, and here comes an Ice Punch. Unless he free freezes us. Yeah, that's not going to happen. And, oh. Okay, so we're that close. Come on, Lucky. Use that girth. Let's get it, and roll out attack. Time to finish him off. Hitmonchan has been defeated. And yes, we get some experience points. Togepi, Mooching, and Lao has been defeated. That's shocking. Yes, it is. Okay, bring it on. Let's see what you got. Words are useless. Let your fists do the talking. Okay. That's pretty much the saying of you're going to catch these hands. So, let's go with Nob right here. He's coming with his Machop. So, obviously, this Pokemon might be more susceptible to our good old Dragon Rage. So, let's go ahead and use Dragon Rage. There we go. Now, I could use I could use Thrash. There is just one little problem. It is a normal type attack. It won't be it won't be as super effective, but it's still going to be something. So, you know what? Screw it. Let's use it. Thrash attack. And there we go, Machop has been defeated. Hydra, Hydra 2 is now in a frenzy, so let's go right ahead and continue on with the Thrash. Now it has two more Thrashes in it before it gets confused, and look at this. Oh, I thought Machop was gonna like flex his pecs. And there we go, nearly defeats this guy, and here comes a Rock Slide. 
F my life. That is super effective. And... Oh, wow. Okay, so we are officially confused. I thought we had another... Another... Oh, crap, baskets. Well, uh, that... Pri oh, wow. Here comes a seismic toss. Oh, my lord. Okay. Alrighty. I'm angry now. Let's go. Uh, yeah, let's go with Togepi. Okay, alrighty. Swift attack for the win. There we go, maximum effort. And that's how you do it. And, well, there's more experience points for Togepi. About to get to level 30, and yes, Nob has been defeated. Yes. Okay, so there is something, too. I actually did buy quite a few revives outside of this whole thing. So, Hydra, I'm sorry. And, well, like, it's like the, it's like the guy that, uh, the only guy that's ever believed in us said, yeah, these, these guys, are, are, their strength is their key right there. So, really wish I had a Psychic-type Pokemon with me, but, yeah, that's not really the case right now. Whose dumb idea was that? I don't know. Okay, so, this is the part where it gets a little tricky. You guys have to have a Pokemon with strength in order to move these things, these boulders, so, just... Be aware to do that. Press that, and whichever side you pick, bam. Alright, bring it on. My Raging Fists will shatter your Pokemon. Your Raging Fists. Okay, how raging are you? How raging is raging? I don't know. So here we go. Lung wants the battle. And he is gonna come out with a Mankey. Alright, Mankey. Time to get all the shiny right here. Now. There is a small downside to to actually raising up a shiny Gyarados, or this Gyarados in particular. It is that, you know, it's, uh, what was it called? Uh, yeah, it takes a lot of experience points. This Pokemon is pretty rare, and it's pretty hard to actually raise up, but once you raise it up to its, like, to its full potential, it's it's definitely something to, you know, to actually, it's actually very formidable, formidable against other opponents right here. And there we go, Dragon Rage for the win. Mm-hmm. And, uh, well, let's see, who's next? He's coming out with a Mankey. Let's go ahead and switch it out to Chico right here. I do have a good strategy, uh, strategy against this, this trainer right here. So here we go, Chico, how's it going? And let's go with a Body Slam. Let's paralyze it a little. And that right there takes out Mankey. Okay, all right. Look at that, okay, so let's see, who's next? Lung wants the battle and wants to come out with a primate. Let's go with. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Let's continue on with Chico right here. Hey, all right, Maggie. You're looking pretty big and docile. Let's go with another body slam. Let's see what happens right here. And that nearly defeats this primate. So here comes a rage. And that rage. Almost takes us out, so let's go straight for a Razor Leaf attack. Razor Leaf does the trick. And there goes Primeape. How's it feel to fail? Not so good. And Togepi grows to level 30 after co-telling off our, you know, victories and all that stuff. Okay, so your glass has been shattered. Alright, let's change it up a little right here. Uh, Togepi, you're at level 30. We need Lucky to get there. Okay, and Hera can actually get to level 30 pretty easily. It's just like, I don't think I need a kick. I don't think I can use it right here because, yeah, that's going to be a bad one. So let's go with Lucky. It's learning, or it's, it's, it has a Mystic Water. Take that. We still have a rare candy. And before we battle Chuck, let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon. Or let's heal up Pokemon that need to be healed. So let's go this. Let's go, yeah, let's go with a uh, Hydra right here. And you know what? Just, just in case. Just in case. Oh, hold on just a second. Not, not the gold berry. I think I had another berry right here. Uh, eh, screw it. Actually, wait, 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 wait. That's what I was thinking. Hold on, hold on. Let's see, hold on. Hold on. Okay, where's my gold berry? Where? WTF. Okay, so this is a self-restore one. Let's give this to... Let's give this to Hydra. 
Alrighty. Time to do it. Time to kick some butt. Alright, so we're gonna start off with Hydra first. Bring it. <laughs> so you've come this far. Let me tell you I'm tough. My Pokemon will crush stones and shatter bones. Watch this. And... Oh, wow. There? Scared now, are you? What? It has nothing to do with the my, with Pokemon? That's true. Come on, we shall do battle. Okay. So here it is, guys. Gym battle number five against uh, gym leader Chuck, and he has only two Pokemon. And yeah, one of these Pokemon happens to be Primeape. It is a pretty fast Pokemon. It's very docile, and it is a... Uh, it is going to be a hard, it's going to be a tough one to actually battle if you don't know how to battle it right. So, what we're gonna do is gonna be very strategic, and yeah, we're gonna le we're gonna be leering at each other. Let's see who leers who the most. So there we go, leer. Okay, fury swipes not gonna do much. Let's do one more leer. There we go, leer. That's right, laser beams at your face. Karate chop, not effective. Steal something. Hey, right, three leers. Let's go with the thrash attack. And that right there takes away primary. You see? Strategy, guys. Draven knows how to do it. Okay, so who's next? Polyrath. Polyrath is a Pokemon I like to mess around with just because, well, I gotta grasp that Pokemon. Alright, Polyrath. Polyrath right here is both a water and. A water and uh, fighting type Pokemon. But it can learn psychic type uh, moves too. Don't know why it's not a, a triple Pokemon. So we're gonna go with the Reflect just to cut off its uh, yeah, cut off its uh, what you would call it, its uh, its half its uh, its attack. And then we're gonna Poison Powder it, which it does not affect it. But here comes a Dynamic Punch. That right there confuses us. And I guess that's the reason why it has Lock On. But thankfully we do have. We do have a bitter berry just in case. All right, and here comes a, di a hypnosis. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna be playing this game. Holy crap, baskets. Okay. Uh, do we have a mint berry here? Yeah, we do. Okay. You want to play like that? Let's play it that way. And here he comes out with a mind reader attack. That actually helps it aim at us, and we're gonna poison it right here. So, go right ahead, hit me with a dynamic punch. Not so, not so powerful, but it does confuse me. And yes, you're getting hurt by poison. Eat it, and yes, the reflect has gone off. So now, we are gonna have to heal up our Pokemon again with a bitter berry and all that stuff. He's gonna try and put us to sleep. Don't worry, we have a full heal. And here comes a dynamic punch yet again. Thankfully, it only has like five PP. So yeah, go ahead, and yes, you're getting poisoned. Either way, I'm gonna win. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Da, da, da. Full heal. There we go. Came to his senses and dynamic punch misses. Yes, your dynamic. That was what? Three or four? Four dynamic punch? Let's go with a reflect just in case. Alright, Polyrath, do your worst. Here's a mind reader attack. Poison. You are now Lord. Time to eat this razor leaf attack. You know, we could have done this from the very get-go. I know many of you guys are going to be like, you know... You didn't... That was unnecessary. But you know what? I do what I want, alright? There we go. And... Bam! Lucky coattailing off our wins, and... Bam! Chuck Count's been defeated. What? Huh? I lost? How about that? You're worthy of the Storm Badge. Mm-hmm. And there it is, guys. Throwing out the peace sign. That is five badges. Storm Badge makes all Pokemon up to level 70 obey, even traded ones. It also lets you fly when you're not in battle. Here, take this too. Get ourselves the TM01, which is Dynamic Punch, and uh, yeah, it's not really much of a... Yeah, it's a Dynamic Punch. It doesn't always hit, but when it does, it causes confusion. <laughs> I enjoyed battling with you, but a loss is a loss. From now on, I'm going to train 24 hours a day. Yeah, that's not possible. That is not possible. Anywho, let's get out. And after we defeat Chuck, we can talk to his wifey right here. And she's going to be like, you crossed the sea to get here? That must have been hard. 
It would have been much easier if your Pokemon knew how to fly. That's the sign with Gym Badge. Then you should be you should be able to take this uh, HM. And there it is, guys. HMO2. Thank you. Thank you, Arceus. So, the HMO2 is fly. Teach fly to your Pokemon. You will be able to fly instantly to anywhere you have visited. My husband lost the, well, lost to you, so he needs to train harder. That's good, since he's getting a little chubby. Wow. Believe it or not, guys, I have dealt with clients. Okay? Male, male clients whose wives tell them, told them that, hey, you know, you're getting a little chubby here. You know, you probably should uh, lose some weight right there. I'm just saying. Anywho, let's go ahead and take a look at our our badges right here. Look at that. Five friggin' badges. So, in the next episode, we will be going back to Olivine. Is it Olivine? Yes, we're going to go back to Olivine, and we're going to be taking on the gym leader there. Thank you guys again for watching. If you guys want to make a small donation to keep this channel going with everything that it has right here, you know, links in the description, heart button right there if you want to choose to do so. If you guys want to be members to this channel, go to the front page to catch up on uh, all those members-only me uh, episodes. Sign up right here. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.